Yeah, so the goal today was sort of to get people to register for Nomo May. And the idea is pretty simple. We were asking folks to put up one of these signs in their yards and let their neighbors know that they're going to be participating in Nomo May. So if you follow this QR code here, it takes you to our online registration page at byobs.org. Uh, and we basically ask you to sign up, put a yard sign up, and let your neighbors know that your lawn's going to be a little shaggy this year. Um, and that's, that's, that's going to be okay. <laughs> And the goal, I think, of the of the shaggy lawns and the extra extra uh, grass height is just basically to provide extra flowers for bees to pollinate in the early season. So flowers provide food and nectar for bees, which is really limiting during the early spring months. And so those bees really need those resources, especially right after that last frost, uh, in order to survive through the summer. So we're just giving them a little bit of a leg up. One of the really cool things about Nomo May is that we're actually asking people to do less. And this isn't an initiative where we want you to do more. This is an initiative where we're just asking you to be a lazy gardener for a month and let your grass grow to a height that might not normally happen. Uh, and by doing that, you're actually doing more for your environment and your native pollinators. Uh, we're also asking folks to take like a more active role in participating in Nomo May. So learn a little bit about what types of native plants you can plant in your backyard or how you might provide nesting habitat for your local bees or even how to reduce your pesticide and herbicide use in your lawns in order to create healthier bee and pollinator populations. Nomo May started last year in the U.S. in Appleton but it actually originates in the UK. So a, a company called Plant Life has been doing Nomo May in England for about 10 years now, where they're basically doing the same thing, providing those early season foraging flowers for native pollinators. Uh, but this is only the second year it's happened here in the US. And the really cool thing about it is that it's actually grown to nine other cities beyond Appleton. So we have cities all the way from Oshkosh to De Pere. We have Stevens Point and Wausau, all participating on this really cool, really important uh, sort of uh, initiative that helps protect our pollinators.